hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this five in one logo concept into this let's check the intro Tickography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good evening guys mm -hmm. welcome back to the graphic design training i believe we're doing great today so right now I want to show us how we can make five logo, five logo at the same time using a particular concept. So without wasting much of our time, I want us to go straight to the point. So let's get started. The first thing to do is to type a letter or uh, alphabet A. Then we go to our font. Then we select, choose a Nevis font. So I want to select a Nevis font then increase the size a little bit so after increasing the size let it uh, be at the middle just exactly like this so the next thing we want to do is to just bring it to the left so let copy we have letter b which you can see right so after typing the letter b so after typing the letter B, the next thing we're going to do is to move it in a little bit like this. So you can see, right? So we can, at this level, use our relative size just to make it uh, more okay. So you can see, right? So the next thing is that let's shift it a little bit to come out. So, and this is perfect. So this is perfect. The next thing that we're going to do right now is to turn on our mask so yeah i'm going to teach you how you can use your mask perfectly so we tap on our max here tap on the letter b then you go to the max area so after clicking on the max the next thing that we're going to do is to just uh, click on the movement already is it then you have to just bring it at this juncture so let it come here then you tap on how you move it so just exactly like this so we are moving it just as this so with my first of all click the outer one so you can see right so for us to be able to just arrange it very well so you can see so this one will give us an avenue to arrange it properly so you need to be very patient here so you see so and it has to be straight which you can see right it has to be straight so you can see right so we can make this to go here why we bring this like this so let's just adjust a little bit adjust just as this okay then we we'll adjust this a little bit as well you understand so it's just exactly like this so after that the next thing that we're going to do is this we're going to come here then we'll copy you see what i did right so we'll copy we'll paste it just as this um let's stick copy after copy we paste it right then we'll lock and hide it so the second one this one we are going to copy the letter b you understand so we hide it as well so making two so remain this particular two so what we're going to do next to this we are going to start changing the uh changing the alphabet and that's the concept so we'll go to letter B with the one we cut out. So we're going to change it to let's say letter P. Then we see how it look. Then you can see. You look at it exactly how it look. So you see, look like letter EP. So for that situation, the next thing I want us to do is to 
just uh, copy it and save. So we have letter P, then we copy, then we have it uh, save and hide. So the next thing we do now, we do is this: we go to letter P, then we type letter H. You understand? Then you look at it. Just see letter H, perfect. Then what we're going to do next is to just copy. So after copy it, then the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, hide it. So after hiding it, then we can go to another one. Uh, which letter can we still go for? Letter D to letter D. Letter D. So let's see. Look at letter D. This is another concept, another logo. Then what can we do with that one? So we are going to change that one after the other. Do you understand? And uh, how can we do that? Let's uh, just make it this way instead of even saving it one after the other. So let's just uh, let's just make it this way. Uh, we have a uh, letter A and D. Okay, perfect. So let's delete everything right from the one, right from the beginning. Then we we are going to centralize it. We must not match it. Do you understand? Just centralize. So after centralizing it, we can change it to any color of our desire. So what I want us to do at this particular juncture is to just uh, 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 let me make it this way. We are going to we are going to just give a color then we are going to save it immediately. So we have this. So we we'll make the logo at the same time. So this one let's choose letter red. I mean color red for it. And we we'll make this to be darker. You understand? Let's in darker. So very good. Then what we do next is to save with the transparent. Don't forget button. to hit the subscribe button and, and the bell icon. Number one, right? So we are going to continue saving like that. So we we'll go to number two, where we change it to. We we'll start from beginning. We change it to letter, letter half. So then you see how it look, right? So what we're going to do next is to just have it save as well. We we'll have it save okay then after that we'll go there we save uh, to letter d uh oh we save to letter d i, th I think we see we did a letter d let's save it to letter g okay look at how it is the letter g very cool right eh? right so let's save it as well making three logo in one concept so the next thing we're going to do we change it to letter b letter b three logo this is fourth logo in one concept in one concept so after that we are going to stitch edit it then we change it to letter d let's see i think we've done this let's change it to letter p letter p okay very good then that is a fifth logo in one concept so now we are going to all we are going to do next is to just uh, hide this and lock it then after hiding and lock it then we can change uh, the color so we have the color being changed to white sorry we change the color to white uh, change the color to white okay good then we are going to import all those uh, logo one after the other so we'll go to our pc lab very good we have the five logo at the same time so we are going to have them one after the other so so and this is the first one which you can see so we're going to bring the second one you see the second one even we suppose not to even uh, uh we suppose i suppose not to reduce the size so let me just be positioned just exactly as i or seen it so we we'll have this we'll go back to our gallery where we have this we're supposed to be at the center so we we'll have this at the center then we we'll have the fourth one so we're supposed to be here even if we were just we'll later know then we'll bring the last one which should be here and these are the fifth fifth uh, logo in one concept so we can start uh, adjusting them one after the other you understand 
so let's just adjust them so we have this which is the first one so we reduce the size for this as well okay which is number two okay we can turn on our grid to set this so we turn on our grid to make sure everything is actually set so we have here then we have here at the same time then at this uh, junction two we we'll have to have one here okay perfect so after that we are going to reposition them on here then we we'll have another one which we are going to position inside too so we we'll have this so after that we we'll have the third one which we are going to position after reducing the size so we are going to position it here you can see right so after position this here the next one we are going to do sorry ad so we'll go to ad we lock it so that we can deal with others so we'll bring this up and this one so we reduce the size too so that we can position it here a hard then we'll bring the last but not the least to this place where we can position it around here and that's the fifth logo in one concept that we can actually make on our android smartphone using our pc lab i believe we'll learn something from here and you can see so we can put other info to make it uh, work very well so thanks for watching i believe we'll learn from this god bless you